At the White House, with parents of shooting school victims alongside, President Obama pledged to keep fighting for gun control. So all in all, this was a pretty shameful day for Washington. But this effort is not over. His remarks came after the Senate defeated a proposal to expand background checks for gun buyers. Mark Barton's seven-year-old son Daniel was killed when a gunman opened fire on 20 children and six educators at a school in Newtown, Connecticut last December. In any instant, any dad in America could be in my shoes. No one should feel the pain. No one should feel our pain or the pain felt by the tens of thousands of people who've lost loved ones to senseless gun violence. On the Senate floor, gun rights advocates like Senator Richard Shelby insisted the legislation would infringe on the constitutional right to own guns. As one of the Justice Department's leading crime researchers has stated, the government's ability to implement near universal background checks would rely at least in part on, quote, requiring gun registration. I oppose that. Stephen Barton was shot by a gunman who sprayed bullets in a Colorado movie theater last July, killing 12 people. He says Americans should not only focus on mass tragedies, but should realize that 12,000 people die every year from gun violence. Perhaps over the medium term, uh, and maybe just as importantly, I would say it's holding accountable those senators who, uh, who voted against public safety. And if the senators aren't going to vote for, for what's right, then maybe it's time to change the senators. The defeat in the Senate was especially disappointing for Neil Heslin. His six-year-old son, Jesse, was killed in the Newtown shooting. He spent weeks trying to persuade members of Congress to approve new legislation. He says he will return to Washington to fight for laws that will prevent other mass shootings. I don't think you'll ever be able to stop it completely, but it's uh, to have the loss of 20 in innocent babies to a mass murder like that, it's, it's something that should never have happened. Gun control advocates say with more Americans supporting their cause, that could pressure lawmakers to take another look at measures to reduce gun violence. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington.